Hi everyone, this is Brodisar from Sync Academy and this is another lecture video for our weekly practice. All right, and today's topic is about equations, uh, which is the most commonly used method to solve word problems, uh, especially in the secondary school. All right, but let's start with some simple equations. For example, the question number one, here we see an equation for x and with some decimals, all right? So we just transport this term to the right side of it, all right? So it goes like this, 3.2x equals 0 0.73 plus 0 0.23. Now, this would be like 3.2x is 0 0.96. So x should be 0 0.3 here. Now, so the solution for this equation would be x equals to 0 0.3. All right, so the next one will look a little bit strange because you can see the x is in the denominator now, right? It's a part of the denominator. But still, we can do something like a cross multiplication. So it goes like this, 3 over x minus 3, right? So, and the 3 here on the right side of it, we can go like this, all right? 3 over 1, right? So we know in this situation, we can do a multiplication like this, all right? This times this and this times this. So it goes like, goes like 3 times 1, which is 3, equals to 3 times x minus 3, right? So we can reduce the 3 on the side, on the two sides of it, and it will be like x minus 3 is 1, so x is 4. All right, so the solution for this equation would be x equals to 4. Good, so this is how we solve uh, an equation. And what about solve a uh, word problem by equation? So let's take a look at this question. Mr. Paul here spent 2 over 3, or we can say 2 thirds, right, of his monthly income on rent. So 2 over 3 on rent, and another 2 over 3 of the rest on food. Now, so, and after this, he has a thousand dollars left. All right, so the question comes at, what is Miss Paul's monthly income? All right, so now, how we do this? Now, first, we, we want to solve this problem with an equation so we must have an unknown, right? And in the most occasions, we use x. So we write it down like this. Let, sorry. Let the monthly income, which is what we want to know, right? let the monthly income be x. All right, so now we finish the first step. We need an unknown here, and in most occasions, we use x, all right? So, he spends three, uh, two over three of his monthly income, and another two over three of the rest. So, with I spend two over three of my monthly income, and the, the left, or we say the rest, should be 1 over 3x, right? This is after, this is after rent, all right? This is after we've spent the money on our rent. And still, 2 over 3 of the rest, this is the rest, all right? Spend on food. So this is what we left, and I spent 2 over 3 of this, right? So we should times another 1 over 3. Now this is after food. All right, this is after food. Now, this is what we have left, and what we have left is $1,000. All right, a thousand dollars. Now let's jump the uh, 
calculation part, all right, and go straight to the conclusion that x should be $9,000. All right, so this is a standard process uh, how, we how we solve a word problem. We first let something, uh, usually what we want to know, right, be x, and then set up an equation, and then solve the equation. All right, so let's go for some uh, difficult questions. Like here, five years ago, the age of Tom's father was twice that of Tom. All right, Tom's father's age was twice that of Tom, and that is five years ago. All right, and the age of Tom and his father added together is 85 this year. All right, 85 this year. Uh, now means this year, right? So we can see that five years ago, all right, just use an Y here to represent the years, all right? So five years ago, Tom and his father, all right, Tom and his father, and this is now. So we have four blanks to fill in here, right? And we know that five years ago, Tom's father ages twice that of Tom. So if Tom would be x, then his father should be 2x five years ago, right? And now, five years later, Tom's age should be x plus 5, and his father should be 2x plus 5, right? And these two ages adds up to 85, right? So now we see clearly how should we set up the equation, right? So let's first do the unknown thing. Let the let the a Tom's age let Tom's age five years ago five years ago be x. All right, five years ago be x. So we could write down the equation just like this, x plus 5, this is the age of Tom now, and 2x plus 5, this is the age of his father, and these two adds up to 85. All right, adds up to 85. Now, let's do the calculation, all right? Let's do the calculation, goes like this, and put these x together, they go 3x, equals 75, so x is 25. But pay attention to the question. The question asks about Tom's father's age now. Now, so now is 2x plus 5. So Tom's father, all right, Tom's father should be 2x plus 5, x is 25. So it should be 55 years old. All right, so this is the correct answer for this question and the end of today's practice. All right, so I hope you do it well. Goodbye.